Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, Adrian Tripp, and welcome to The Game According to Me, episode 28, NFL 100 Predictions, Awards, Playoffs, Super Bowl Players, and Winners. That's right, I will be giving you my thoughts and predictions of what's going to go down in the 100th season of the National Football League. I'm going to give you who is going to win the MVP, the Offensive and Defensive Player of the Year, Offensive and Defensive Rookie of the Year, the Comeback Player of the Year, and the Coach of the Year. I am not going to do the Walter, Man, Walter Payton Man of the Year because I, I, it's kind of hard to – it's even hard. It's, it's, it's just kind of crazy <laughs> to do that. But I'm going to give you the playoff teams, what their records are, and then I'm going to give you uh, – who, um, how they go out uh, in the playoffs and how they go around, things like that, and then who, who made it to the Super Bowl and who won the Super Bowl. And even, in fact, I might even, um, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, um, I, I will maybe even put up the picture of the, the draft order that, that, that's, gonna, that that's been predicted. Uh, for those of y'all that uh, do not know, I, I do my predictions with, by the... Um, by this um, website, it's called PlayoffPredictors.com. Um, so I, I've been doing that uh, recently, uh, the last few years. That's that's how I do my predictions episode. Um, so uh, I, I I'm gonna put put, put a sh screenshot of that up uh, as well uh, during the uh, you know, during the talk on my YouTube. Uh, when, uh, obviously, if you're listening to this on my podcast. Don't you know? You don't have to worry about that, you know. Or although you can, and you can check my social media because I will post it uh, on my social media as well. So, um, put, I'll probably post it like on Instagram or on uh, on on Twitter, stuff like that. So, but with that being said, let's just go ahead and let's start in the prediction game. Why don't we? So let's so let's just go by. Um, you're going to go by the conference. You're going to start with the AFC first and then go with the NFC as well. Um, and like I said, I use playoffpredictor.com for this. And, and the way that works is you can select the games. You, you can do it by random or you can do it by one, two. You can just do it if you want to do a, a, a team. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you want. It, it's all about just, you know, just playing the game, I guess. So. I went through all 17 weeks of the regular season and the four weeks of the postseason, and I selected the games of who, you know, who I thought would win each and every game. And that's how, and, and so then that's how I came up with these and, and these records. So we're gonna start with AFC. In the North, I've got the Cleveland Browns being 13 and three. They went six and zero in the division. And obviously they made the playoffs. Pittsburgh Steelers are 12 and 4. They went 4 and 2 in the division. They will they will also make the playoffs. They will be the fifth seed. The Browns are the third seed. Indianapolis Colts they win the AFC South. They went 11 and 5. Went 5 and 1 in the division. The Jacksonville Jaguars came close. They were 10 and 6. You know, but they just they just missed out. They were the seventh seed. The New England Patriots are the number two seed, going thirteen and three. We have a five and one in the division. And in the West, we've got the Kansas City Chiefs going fourteen and two, four and two in the division, and the Los Angeles Chargers going eleven and five, five and one in the division. And both of those made the playoffs. The Chiefs being the one seed, the Chargers being the six seed. So that's what goes. That's what happens in the AFC. In the NFC, we get a couple of surprises here. I think. Um, so we start with the North. We've got the Packers. I have the Packers going thirteen and three, going four and two in the division, being the second seed. They're going to get a buy. They're going to get a buy. Wow. So I've got the. Uh, Chicago Bears, my team, the Bears. 
I've got them at 10 and 6. 4 and 2 in the division. They make the playoffs as well. They, they, they will be the fifth seed. And the Minnesota Vikings will be the sixth seed, also with a 10 and 6 record, going 3 and 3 in the division. In the South, the Saints are going to go 15 and 1, perfect in the division, and they are going to. Um, be the overall number one seed. Have home they were just, just just like last year, home field advantage throughout the, the NFC playoffs. In the East, the uh, the Eagles are going to go f- thirteen and three, and they will make uh, the playoffs five and one in the, the division. That is the Cowboys come up short at eight and eight. And the, in the West. The Los Angeles Rams will be the three seed, and they will be they will have thirteen and three go five and one in the division. So to reiterate, playoff teams: the Kansas City Chiefs are fourteen and two, New England Patriots are thirteen and three. Number one and number two seed they have a bye. The three seed is the Browns, the four seed is the Colts, the five seed is the Steelers, and the six seed will be the Chargers. And over in the NFC, you've got the New Orleans Saints, number one seed at 15 and one. We have the Packers, the number two seed at 13 and three. We have the Los Angeles Rams as the three seed at 13 and three, and the Eagles are the four seed at 13 and three. We have the Bears um, at the fifth seed, being 10 and six, and the, and the Vikings at the sixth seed at 10 and six. So now that we have that set, let's talk about the playoffs, right? Um, so how do what what do, I, what do I have happening in the playoffs? So we'll actually just go by round. We'll go by wild card weekend. We got the Colts, the four seed, at the Steelers, the f- five seed. We have the Chargers, the six seed, at the Browns, the three seed. The Bears, the five seed, at the Eagles, the four seed. And then we've got the Rams at home against the Vikings, the six seed. And I have the Colts beating the Steelers, the, the Browns beating the Chargers, the Bears um, getting revenge and beating the Eagles at home, and then we have the Rams beating the Vikings. So then we go to this divisional round. We have... The, uh, the Colts going to play the Chiefs and the Browns playing the Patriots. In the AFC, in the NFC, we've got the Bears going at, to, on the road to play the Saints. And we have the Rams going to Lambeau Field and face the Green Bay Packers. The Chiefs will beat the Colts. The Patriots will take the Browns. If you're hoping that the Browns will make a magical run this year, I think they're a little too young for that. So they'll get beat by the Patriots in the AFC. Out in the NFC, my Bears will come up short to Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. And the Los Angeles Rams will upset the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau Field. And they will move on. Championship Sunday. The number two seed, Patriots, at home against the number one seed, Chiefs. The number three seed Rams at home against the number one seed Rams. This is the same one from last year. The same conference championship games from last year. The same one, same places, same teams, everything. Both diff- but a totally different outcome. The Chiefs will get past the Patriots and move on to the Super Bowl. And the Saints, with no pass interference, to help the Rams, will beat the Rams and go on to face the Chiefs in Super Bowl 51. No, 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 not 51. 54. <laughs> 54. That's what it is. 54. And then, of course, we get to Super Bowl 54, and we've got it was in Florida, and we've got other people. And I don't know. I don't know who the halftime show is. I don't know what's going down. You know, things like that. Who's going to sing the national anthem? Don't know what the commercials be like, but I do know who's going to win. It's going to be the New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans Saints will beat 
the Kansas City Chiefs, 34 to 30, with Drew Brees winning the Super Bowl MVP. And here's another prediction for you: after winning his second Super Bowl and a Super Bowl MVP, Drew Brees at 40, 41, rides off into the sunset, like it should be. Now, and now, and, and Drew Brees etches his name. It's not only one of the greats of all time, but he becomes now in that conversation for greatest of all time. Is it Brady? Is it Manning? Is it Breeze? Is it Montana? It's those four. No one else, right? I think that could happen. Very much so. And that's what I'm predicting. And again, like I said, uh, you know, with this, with this, you know, this was a new, I, be, I believe it was a new feature this year. It was the, um, where, you, where you could, but when you do this, now you can check the draft order. Who would be the draft order? So I, I'll just give you the top 10. The way for where the draft order would be the number one team would be the New York Giants. The number two team would be the Buccaneers. The number three team would be the Buffalo Bills. Four, the Dolphins. Five, the Bengals. Six, Tennessee. Seven, the Cardinals. Eight, the Raiders. Nine, the Broncos. And ten would be the Jets. Now, all of this would be not knowing what trades would have happened or what trades have happened. But that doesn't take account into what happened. For instance, um, I don't. I, I think. I think the Bears. Do they have another first round for, for Khalil Mack? I'm not sure. But, but who, who knows? There, there's, you know, there's, there's probably many teams that don't have a first round pick due to trades and stuff like that. So that wouldn't, you know, that, that wouldn't go into this, um, go into this story. But as you can see, you know, the Giants being the first overall uh, you know, uh, having the first overall pick, drafting Derek John Daniel Jones, the, and now uh, they, they could now get they could probably draft Jerry Judy and have their triplets of 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 of, of Jones and Barkley and Judy for the future. And then, uh, and then you have Tampa Bay at number two. If, if if they have their first round pick, guess who that is? That's Tua Tungavailoa right there for them. Especially if if they if, if if they're the number two seed, that means that J J James Winston wasn't good enough. He just wasn't, and it's time to let James go. Number three would be Buffalo, and who knows what you can get there with Buffalo. So there's so many ways you can go out. So again, this is a great a great thing. I think the link will be down in the description box below. Not only in my YouTube channel, but in the description box in my um. Uh, in my um, podcast description box. So if you guys want to play around with it and do you, make your predictions that way, you certainly can. And like I always do, I, I, I talk about my hometown team, the Bears. And uh, I, I've got this up as well. Uh, I've got them beating the Packers at home, beating the Broncos and the Redskins on the road, beating the Vikings at home, beating the Raiders at home. They st I have them starting off 5-0. and oh. Starting off five and zero, so how did they get ten and six? Well, this this is a tough schedule, y'all. They've got uh, their bye week in week six. They they come on week seven uh, to play the Saints. I think the Saints are gonna beat them. They got the Chargers at home. They'll beat the Chargers. They go to Philly, which I think they'll lose. Then they come home to face the Lions. I think they'll beat the Lions. Then they go on the road to the Rams. I think they'll lose there. They come back home. To Plays the Giants, they'll beat them. Uh, I have them um, beating the. Um, I, I have I have them winning on uh, on the, against the Lions on on uh, on Thanksgiving again. Uh, I have them coming home and beating the Cowboys. But here's where I think they fall off. Here's where they fall off. The last three games of the season. This is where. You know they they fall off because it's the pack they lose at home to the Packers they lose at, no, no, they lose to the Packers on the road excuse me they lose at home to the Chiefs and they lose on the road to the Vikings and that's how the Vikings get into the playoffs they beat the Bears 
Then we have week 18. Obviously, that's the wild card weekend. You did get revenge against the Eagles. And, of course, I have them losing to the Saints. So, they're 10-6. and six. They were 7-5 in the conference, 4-2 in the division. They were 6-2 and two on, at home. They were 4-4 four and four on the road, which is what you want to do. You, you know, you want to win... Yes, you want to win six games. You want you want to go 500 on the road and win, you know, 75 percent of your games at home, and that's what they did. That's how you got your 10 and six. Against winning teams, they were three and six. Against losing teams, they were seven and zero. Oh. Uh, there's some other this the strength of schedule with uh, you see it's it's they faced teams at a uh they had a 58.2% a winning percentage. So, it was, you know, this was a tough schedule. You know, but the Bears, at least the Bears made the playoffs. And that's that's a good thing for Bears fans. And we won a playoff game. We got revenge for a double doink. All right, so now we're going to go uh, through the awards to finish off here. Um, we'll, we'll start... From coach of the year to MVP, coach of the year when you go 15 and one, who else could it be but Sean Payton from New Orleans? I think Sean Payton's gonna have a great year coaching. Uh, I think he's gonna bring Drew Brees back into uh, uh, Drew Brees is not going to go leave for. I think him and Tom Brady with what they're doing into their 40s is amazing. And Sean Payton is going to win the coach of the year. Go well, 15 and 1, you got to. Obviously, this, obviously, you can say that Freddie Kitchens having the Browns go 13 and 3, he could win it as well. Uh, even, even according to me, we have the the uh, the Green Bay Packers being 14 and 2. I think there was right. I had to I had them being 14 and 2. Oh no, no, I had them being 13 and 3. The first year coach Matt Lafour. He could win it, but I think you go 15-1, you got to give it to Sean Payton. Um, the comeback player of the year. Um, to me, this is Jimmy Garofalo. Not only does St. Louis, St. Louis, not only does San Francisco end up being 9-7 and seven this year, but I also think Jimmy Garofalo is going to have a great year. He hasn't had a, a particularly interesting preseason, but I think he's going to have a fantastic year. I think he'll, he may struggle a little bit, but I think he'll end up with those numbers that most quarterbacks end up now, especially if he stays healthy. I think he'll have four, um, between 4,000 and 4,300 yards passing. I believe he'll have, like, he'll have, like, 20, you know, 25 to, you know, 27 touchdowns. He'll probably have no more than 12 interceptions that, you know, that two to one ratio we, we, we always love to talk about. He'll probably be in the high 60s of completion percentage. He'll have, you know, a high quarterback rating and a high QBR. So I think Jimmy Garoppolo, and after him, Jimmy Garoppolo coming back off of the torn ACL, I think that makes him worthy of being comeback player of the year. Defensive rookie of the year, I think, belongs to Ed Oliver. A Buffalo. I'm going. I think that's a a off the board pick because I think you know I Oliver he had some injury troubles as well coming out from uh from college. You know he didn't play like the last few games in college and that that was that was a point of contention with his coach at at Houston. But um. But I think he'll come in the league. He'll make an impact. And I think he'll he'll, he'll do enough. To, uh, sh- sh- to to shock the world and say that he can be win defensive rookie of the year, offensive rookie of the year. I think it's Kyle Murray, uh, uh, Kyler Murray. I, I think, you know, we got that air raid and he's just going to be passing. He's probably going to be he's probably going to break all the rookie passing records. Um, you know, yards, completions, attempts, everything. He's probably going to do all of that. Um. In, in that air raid offense, and I think that just gives him the automatically, you know, shot for um, for for uh, rookie offensive rookie of the year. I almost almost think that's a that's a given. Everybody, you know, the, the people won't pick Kyler Murray because he's the the fav- He's obviously the favorite, but you know, I I, I think that's kind of like chalk. Sometimes you go with chalk because it just makes sense, and this makes sense. To go with Kyler, Kyler Murray for Rookie of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year, I'm going with my boy, 
Khalil Mack right here in Chicago. And here's what else what I'm doing, guys. Here's what else what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, made a, I'm doing another prediction off of my prediction. The way Khalil Mack gets defensive player of the year, he breaks the sack record. A, a solid 25 sacks for your boy Khalil Mack right here, right now. I'm t- predicting it. You can bank on it. Khalil Mack, 25 sacks, becomes defensive player of the year. Offensive player of the year, how about Saquon Barkley of New York? He's going to be the end-all, be-all for them. Why? Why? Because, you know, they don't have Odell anymore. I, 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 I'll do another prediction here. I think one reason why he'll get it is because he'll probably, he'll, he'll probably have a thousand yards rushing and ten touchdowns. And he'll have a thousand yards receiving and ten touchdowns. Now, now I think that'll make him the offensive player of the year. Now, when when you do that, you would say, okay, so if 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 if, if he got it like that, right? How is he not MVP? Well, he's on a losing team. He's on a losing team. This isn't baseball. Baseball is the only sport where the losing team, uh, you know, the losing team gets, you know, the MVP. A player on the losing team gets the MVP. I, I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't think it's ever happened in, in any other sport. The Giants are, are – I, I had the Giants at 1-15. He can't be the MVP. So the MVP can only be one person. He goes to the 15 and 1 Drew Brees on the New Orleans Saints. He's your MVP. He wins the Super Bowl MVP and wins the uh, regular season MVP. And like I said, doing the other one, he rides off into the sunset. Two, he rides off with an MVP, two Super Bowl MVPs, two championship rings. What a career for the man Drew Brees. All right, so that was my. Predictions podcast and predictions video on the 2019 NFL season, the 100th season of the National Football League. Post any comments you have down below. Let me know what you guys think. And also, if you are in my, if you are listening on my podcast, I don't believe there's a comment section. Um, but if you're on my podcast, please hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up, you know, let me know if you guys think that there, there are any things that, you know, you agree with, you disagree with. And you go, give me your predictions. Let me all know down in the comment section. As well, for my podcast listeners, if you want to help a brother out, just to help this podcast out, there are three tiers you can subscribe to. You can subscribe to the 99 cent tier, the 4.99 cent tier, and the 9.99 cent tier. So if you want to help your brother out, you like this podcast, you want it to continue and do more, subscribe, please, why don't you? It doesn't matter which tier, just go ahead and subscribe. And for those watching on YouTube, um, you can always donate the, the little tip jar or whatever I ca- it's called down there. It's it's down, it's down it's in the link in the description box down below. So you can always give me a tip if you feel like I do it. I did a great job. You want to help somebody out. I totally appreciate any love and any help that you guys uh, give. I, I appreciate any of it. So it really does mean a lot. So now it's just time to go. We will see you guys. We will come back. Well, um, podcast wise, I'll be back. Uh, I, I well, I'm not gonna. I shouldn't say that. Um, cause I, I could have, I could have a positive, have a job, which would be so cool. So, um, if I have a job, I don't know when I, I'll be back. Um, so I kind of don't want to be back so that I can, you know, do the thing. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it might, maybe it might go away for a couple weeks, but then, but, but maybe what also may happen is that. Um, you know, once everything, if I do get a job, I can get it like that and I can do my podcast on my way to work in the morning. So they'll be shorter, but at least they'll, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be done. And I can still give you my thoughts and opinions that went down on in the, in the world of football in the weekend. So 
But if I don't have a job, then I will probably I'll be back here Monday, you know, uh, giving you my thoughts on what happened in week one in college football, uh, week one of the national, well, the weekend, the weekend of football. That's what I probably just call it, weekend of football. And um, yeah, and for and for here uh, on YouTube, um, I I won't be doing like weekly things or something like that. Same thing goes for like. You know, obviously, I won't be doing nothing if you know anything like that. But for YouTube, I, I think what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is that since I'm now doing like the you know the, uh, the like the podcast stuff, uh, and like because like because most you guys know who watched on YouTube, I was using Spreaker, and Spreaker you could upload it to YouTube, um, but you can't do that with with Anchor FM. So, which is the, the podcast hosting place I'm I'm, at, I'm using right now. Um, so I so I, I just think I'm probably gonna use. Uh, there, there will be some times when I would do the simulcast podcast like I'm like I did for the college football, like I did for this. But I think there's also times when I'll just when I, if I have any major thoughts and opinions on on sports in general, you know, I, I think I'll just turn on the computer and fire up a, a, a thought. So, um, so yeah, that's exactly what I think I'll do. Yeah, all right. So thank you guys again so much for watching and listening. This is your boy, AJ Tripp, signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out. <laughs>